Hey, it's Nick and I'm back with a new and improved version of my Super Bowl Squares template and I want to show you how to use it and what makes it awesome. But first, let's take a look back at the evolution of the spreadsheet. I've been making Super Bowl Squares templates available for you to download for over 10 years now. The first version in 2012 was very plain and simple and basically just meant to be printed. I started adding more features and automation in 2014, beginning with a button you would click that runs a macro to generate the random numbers. The problem that I soon discovered is that there are countless ways to play Super Bowl squares. Initially, I tried to account for all the different ways to play by having different sheets within the workbook, but as you can tell, this got very messy very quickly. So a new user would open the template and could be very confused by all the sheets because there would be a, a square sheet and a manager sheet for every way to play. So even three ways to play, you would have six sheets right there. So I wanted and needed a better solution. In 2021, I released a new version that featured 54 different ways to play Super Bowl squares, all contained within one easy to use spreadsheet. When you first open the sheet, it has a nice clean look with only one sheet visible. You select the options for how you want to play, click generate squares, and it sets up the sheet exactly for the version you want to play. The way it works is all the scoring systems are already built into the sheet. If you go to the squares of the manager sheet, you will find many hidden rows or columns. When you click the, the Generate Squares button, it runs a macro that simply hides or unhides the data based on the user's selections. 54 different ways to play is a lot, but it's still not enough. I received many requests over the years for different ways to play. and I, just, I don't have time to make very specific sheets for each individual request, so I still needed another solution to account for unlimited ways to play. That's when I had the idea for Super Bowl Squares Unlimited. The main difference in how it works is there are no pre-built scoring systems. Instead, they are built on the fly by macros. So unfortunately, if you're using iOS or cannot enable macros, then you will not be able to use this sheet. Sorry, I will make a, a printable PDF version and a, and a simple Google Sheets version available if you just want a, a simple version. But to use this new spreadsheet, uh, you have to be able to enable macros. Okay, time to show you some examples how this thing works. And it's kind of meant to just be, st you start at the top and kind of work your way down. In this first box is the grid tools. These are kind of self-explanatory. You click the randomized numbers to get the random numbers. You can click clear. Oh, so to put the names and to assign names for each square, you can type them in manually. Or what I recommend is you go to the manager sheet, you type the names in, and then you assign them the number of squares that each person has using this drop down list. Okay, so all the squares, all 100 squares are assigned to the players. Here's a check at the bottom, all 100. So you go back to the square sheet and now to get the names in there, you hit random names. This one takes a couple seconds to run. And there's all the names from the other sheet with the number of times they're in there, put in random locations. You wanna clear them, you hit this button. So put our random numbers up here. All right, so that's the first box. Second box, the scoreboard tools. So this is what um, the start of what sets this apart from the previous sheet. So whereas the previous sheet had built-in scoreboards, everything here is generated on the fly. So every time there's a scoring event, you will click the Generate Scoreboard button. Uh, what do I mean by that? So let's say you want to play the normal way where there is one winner every quarter. So here you're going to go first. Let's draw me a new quarter. If you want dollars or points, doesn't matter. Well, we'll come back to reverse score. Let's leave that off for now. Um, let's see, this is 49ers and this is Kansas City Chiefs. So let's say the score after one quarter, seven to nothing. Squares are going to be one dollar per square. And because we're going to do four quarters, this will be 25%. So just to keep it simple, just show you that for now. So. So for the scoring event, you hit Generate Scoreboard, and it puts the score over here. So now this second quarter, change that to second. 
Let's say the score is 14 7 now. You hit generate scoreboard and adds another scoring event there too. Let's do quarter three. Let's say it's 21 14. Generate scoreboard and fourth quarter. 21-20. So now here it lists the score still, the percentage, the points, and then who won each one. So you can go over to the manager tab and it will show you for a second who got uh, the most points. So that was Bill got 75, so he's in first, I got 25. Oh no, let's say you, you messed up and you wanted to make the fourth quarter worth more points you could actually go back into here and say like this first round is actually only going to be worth 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent and the last runs 70 percent so then that would change the max score uh, so another example let's say you wanted to do not only the the normal winner for each quarter but you wanted to just do the reverse score here i'm going to do this uh i'm going to clear the scoreboard go back to nothing so you go back to the first quarter, and we'll say we want to do a regular winner, but we also want to do a reverse score winner. So I'll click the reverse score button and just hit that again. So you would basically just do that twice for each quarter, you know, changing the score each, each time as well. And again, so you have two scores for each quarter, maybe you want to go back and change your percentage. I think you can try to figure it out ahead of time and change it here, or uh, you can go back later and, and change these. So one of the advantages of doing it this way is you can use this for sports other than football. So I have this setup where you can have halves or periods, or if you want to change the score by minute, uh, you can say like the. Uh, you know, first, after the first minute, second minute, third minute, um, whatever you want to do. The other big change that makes this different and more flexible than the previous version is that I've had lots of people request they want to do uh, diagonal squares or, or touching squares to also get points. So that is what this uh, grid is for here. So you can see right now, uh, these are toggles when they're green, that means they're on. So just to do a normal game, you just keep the main winner selected. But let's say you want to do the four corners, you would click these buttons. And right now, before it was set to 100% of the winnings go to the, the main person, but you can change that. So let's say you, maybe this is 10, 10. And it adds up the score here, or the percentage here, so you can see right now it's higher than 100. It should only be 100, so we'll change it. So be 100 now so the winner will get 60 percent of the, you know, whatever 25 percent of the total so if we change this let's just do something first quarter so we do generate scoreboard if we go over here now you can see so before it was only recording the main winner but now there is a winner for the top left top right not the not the center one still but so on. So then if you go to the manager tab, um, it's adding up this, the scores now. So you can see Jennifer has 15. So this adds a, a lot of flexibility if you want to have all four. Now if, if the main winner is this one, and you have all these selected, it's only going to count these three people. It does not wrap around. So the way this works is there is a hidden column here. All these toggles. Or if we change this to half, you can see this is on here. If we do a reverse score, that changes this one. So these toggles all relate to some value over here. So do not delete this column because then when you when you click these buttons it runs a macro which you can take a look at generate scoreboard 
here it's all the scoring so the macro reads this column and then populates these values so as you can see this is pretty powerful using this method you can change the scoring rules for each scoring event which makes it a lot more flexible than the previous version of the spreadsheet so that's how you use the Super Bowl scores and limited spreadsheet template I'm excited to hear your thoughts you think it's better than the previous sheet this is brand new and hasn't been uh, thoroughly tested too much so there could be some bugs <laughs> forgive me for that uh, but I'd love to know your thoughts on which sheet you will use and why so leave me a comment or email or just reach out your suggestions uh, and comments always help uh, improve the sheets for next year so thanks for watching and have fun playing Super Bowl squares